guys, welcome back with Wasi Banda. Today I'll be comparing with you two fractional real estate app and these are Lambda app and Arc7. In order to find out which one of these two platforms is better platform to invest in in 2023. But before we go ahead and do so, I would like to ask you guys to take one second to go ahead and smash that like button before we go ahead and get started. Now this being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Now the first thing I would like to compare between these two platforms is the sign up bonus or the referral bonus if you decided to sign up today. Right now for Lender app, there is no offer out there for sign up or referral bonus. Arc7 on the other hand is offering $200 referral bonus for simply using the link down in the description. Now I want to point out these offers vary from one time to another, so even though Land app doesn't have any at this time, they may change this. So make sure to always check our description section to find the most recent offer for either of the two platforms. Next, let's compare the offering between the two platforms. Now for Land app, you can start investing today with only 6 US dollar. They have 60 plus property nationwide in two different states and they are working on adding more. On the other hand, you can start investing with ARK7 with a minimum of 20 US dollar. They have around 10 properties in total for non-accredited investors and they are spread over multiple states. Overall, the clear winner when it comes to the offering is Landa app. Next, let's move to the fees. Now, as far as the fees, Landa app charged the following fees for investors. 6 to 9% acquisition fee, management fee of 6 to 9%, and they have a marketplace fee of 4% per transaction, 2% go to the seller, and 2% go to the buyer. Arc7, on the other hand, they have only 3% acquisition fee, their management fee varies between 8 to 15% on a monthly basis based on the property, and they don't have any fees for the marketplace. Overall, Arc7 have a better structure when it comes to the fees, make them win this round. Next, let's talk about the quality of the offering on both platforms. Now, Lend app usually targets properties that are usually cheaper, are more of a cash flow, and ideally would provide a higher yield. However, most of these properties are a little bit older, and usually they require much more maintenance. So they are not always occupant. For me, based on my own experience, every property I had on Arc7 have been almost 100% occupied. Overall, I'm gonna say as far as the quality of the offering, it have been better for me on Arc7 over Land App. In this next round, we're gonna talk about accessibility. Now, both of these platforms have a mobile app for iOS and Android, and they both created portal for the web. So as far as accessibility, both of these platforms have nailed it. And I'm gonna call this round as a draw. Next, let's talk about the investor-friendly platform. Now, my personal overview between the two platforms, Arc7 have become a little bit more user-friendly, especially with the new changes on the interface taking the place on Land app. So it's became much harder for me, for example, to find out the fees I'm gonna be charged, how much should I expect to earn from every share I buy. All of these changes made it a little bit harder for new investors to assess every property. Also, the introduction of Dividend 2.0, which honestly, I'm not even sure if it's still on Lender app or not, it makes it just a little bit harder for new investors to assess their new investment. And for that reason, I'm gonna have to call this round for Arc7. Next, let's talk about the secondary market. Now, Lender app definitely have a bigger secondary market, they have much more investors, and they have much more property. However, with 2% transaction fee for the seller and 2% for the buyer, compared to zero transaction fee on Arc7, I have to call this round for Arc7 as well, because the free always win. Next, let's talk about the customer service. Now, both of these platforms have a chat support and email support. However, Land app exceeds here because they have their own Reddit community as well as the Discord, and the team is very involved in as far as the support in both of communities. So for this reason, I have to call Land app the winner in this round. Next, let's talk about the tax structure. Now, as far as Land app, they are not taking advantage of treating their properties as a REIT. Now, this is an, a big unfortunate, and I have called Land App on it before. When I actually getting any income coming from Land App, it's being treated as a new additional income, which means I'm paying higher taxes and I'm not taking advantage of the tax code. 
Now, this is not the case with Act 7, which have changed the structure in order to take advantage of the tax code. So properties right now on Act 7 are being treated as REITs, which give Act 7 another advantage when compared to Lambda App. Now, based on this comparison, it seems that the clear winner here is Act 7. Now, this is my personal perspective, and you guys may have a different opinion, so I would love to go ahead and hear from you down in the comment section. Now, I want to point out, as of the time I'm making this video, I'm investing more in Arc 7 than Lambda App. So I'm not disregarding Lambda App altogether, I have been heavily invested in the platform. However, I'm holding back in order to find the really good deal. So what I'm doing is, I'm keeping every money I'm making from rent, I'm just keeping it in the app. Once they have new properties that may offer a really high dividend, I will go ahead and invest. On the other hand, with Arc 7, they have been doing a really something interesting that I haven't seen on any other platform. They've been providing for you a guaranteed income. So I can go ahead and invest in this property in Florida and they're guaranteeing for me minimum of 5.15% in dividend in monthly basis. So it doesn't matter if that property became vacant or not. I have a guaranteed income for one whole year. Now, I really love to see more of this on other platform because, hey, this gives me much more confidence to put my money in. And this is really what I'm doing right now. I'm investing more in Arc 7 just because I'm having literally almost guaranteed income. Yes, these properties on Arc 7, they already have an appreciation ready in. All I have to do, I'm buying them and I'm guaranteeing my income for one whole year. Now, again, this is a minimum guarantee. It doesn't mean they will only pay me 5.15. As a matter of fact, this is another thing I'm liking about Arc 7 lately. They've been trying to increase the return. So even they have a higher management fee, what they're doing is they are trying to squeeze their management fee in favor of investors. How can you provide you the highest interest rate? And this is really what count for me at the end of the day, whether it's Lambda App or Arc 7. What I'm looking for, which one of these platforms will provide me properties with the highest return on investment? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to subscribe if you are not a subscriber, like this video and turn on the notification button. Thank you guys and stay tuned with Wilsey Banda.